Welcome to this LoRa hands-on guide. Um, this is hands-on 1.3, which is going to be focusing on the dashboard. Um, so here is a reminder of the agenda of this guide. We are here, so section hands-on 1, part 3, and we have already configured the gateway and the end node. If you're a bit confused about all of this, please check the introduction video. Um, so the purpose of this video is to connect the network server to a dashboard so that we can display the data sent by the end node on the dashboard. Okay. Um, so we, we've configured this before, we've configured this before. Now what we want is to take all the data that we received on Laureate and to push it and to display it on a dashboard. <laughs> um, so I'm going to start by quickly running you through all the steps and then we will do it together. So we will be using STM32 Cube Monitor. Um, STM Cube Monitor is based on not red. Um, well, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, basically, you have nodes and you connect them together in what's called a flow. Um, and then this flow is just doing an action, an, an action. And then you can create outputs and inputs on a dashboard. And it's just a yeah, visual way of displaying data. When you open Cube Monitor, you will have a basic flow. Um, so what we're going to do is import this flow that I'm providing you um, and delete that one. Then, um, OK, so we're going to okay, do this, blah, blah, blah. Um, then we will delete the old flow. And this is what we'll have. So this is a data input data processing and this is all the data display this is what you will see on the dashboard view one thing we will have to do here is to configure this node um, the laureate uplink and this is a websocket input node so what you have to do is to go on laureate in your um, sample app um, click on output you have to add a new WebSocket output. So click on Add New Output click here. And then once you have your output visible, click on it, and you will have a link. So this link is um, specific to your account. So don't use mine. <laughs> but once you have this link, um, you can go back on Cube Monitor, click on this node, and you can copy the link. And then once you deploy your dashboard, so here by clicking deploy and you click here, once you've deployed your application, you will see the following dashboard and you will observe um, some pressure, humidity and temperature data. The thing is, our board here doesn't have any sensors. So actually what's being displayed are constant data which is why the dashboard will not be moving. Um, so in order to check that we are indeed receiving data every 10 seconds, we will add some debug nodes. Um, so you, we will add some debug nodes here, chick, 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 and then we will visualize um, our data. And that will be it. Uh, that will be the end of this video. We will have fake data flowing from our end node to our dashboard and from then on the next step will be to add some sensors to have actual data anyways so now let's do it together so the first step is to open stm32 cube monitor and then what you're going to do is you're going to go on my website so on oh, truestepbystep.com I, have, I already have it. Okay. You're going to go on truestepbystep.com and on the introduction page, which might change a bit, you will find um, a link here with all the project files. So you go in there, you will have something like that. Okay. So WL, sample dashboard, uplink only, um, a few of them. And this is the one we're going to be importing. Okay. So copy, copy this link. 
and then go back on cube monitor and what you want to do is click here do import select the file to import here you want to select your dashboard so we we're selecting this one wl simple dashboard uplink only json click on import and you will have this message one flow 10 nodes 10 configuration nodes great now what we want is to delete this flow um, so you just double click here delete so as i mentioned earlier um, now this flow is divided in three parts so we have here the input then here the data processing and here the data display if you want more information about how um, the flow actually works um, you should go on my on my website trustedbystep.com and I actually explain a bit how how this works anyways all we have to do here um, is to configure this now the laureate uplink so we have to go back on laureate go in simple app then you click on output here you have to click on WebSocket. If you don't have that, you click on Add New Output, and here, okay? I mean, I have it already. And then once you click on there, you have this link, and you just you want to copy that the entire thing. Control C. Then you go back on Lloyd Uplink. Um, you click on this thing, and you copy your link here, okay? click on update down then you click on deploy so once you've deployed your application um, you will see that here you should have connected and if it doesn't connect um, you should check your firewalls make sure you're not in a um, like limited connection you, you know like that you don't have a corporate correction or anything so yeah, you can run into some issues, but make sure if you disable all your firewalls, it should connect. And so then click on dashboard. And so this is what we have. Um, so we have some pressure, we have some humidity, and we have some temperature. And this data is coming straight from um, the board, the WL, which yeah, you can see it. But yeah, it's coming straight from the board. However, as you can see, it doesn't it doesn't change, right? So it's a bit annoying. Um, and the reason for that is that we we don't have sensors on the board. Um, therefore, the the um, STM32 is just sending the same data um, over and over again. So what we're going to do here is to add some debug nodes here and here so this is how you add nodes and this is how you um, connect them together and now if i deploy again and so once you've deployed your uh, flow with the debug nodes um, so you click here right and then you can erase all the debugs um, all the logs and then every 10 seconds you will receive uh, messages right so this one is from this debug and that one is from that debug node um, so first of all we can see that we're receiving data every 10 seconds even though um, the dashboard itself isn't I mean, it doesn't look like it's being updated and it's because the data that's being received it is always the same okay then we can also see the effect that this block has because we go from a string this to a um, JavaScript object and so the, so here at this point in the flow um, this is the data we have right and we can see it's an object which has many attributes uh, one of which is the EUI okay um, and the other one is the data so it means okay we're receiving that data 
from the device that has this EUI. So now, if you have multiple devices connected to your gateway, um, you could potentially receive a lot of data from a lot of different um, devices with different EUI. So what we'll actually do in the next um, video, in the next dashboard, um, is that we will integrate a test on the EUI to make sure that you're only receiving data from your device. But anyways, this is just like a, a simple dashboard, um, the first one. Okay. So in conclusion, uh, we now have fake data flowing from our STM32WL to our da dashboard. And so we've finished up hands-on one, which is the setup of a simple network. Now what we want to do is to actually add sensors uh, so that we have real data and that will be hands-on too.